What's up, fellow EDM enthusiasts? I've got a banger of a video today that I'm really excited about, and uh, oh, oh, sorry, hold on. Hello? Oh, hey, splice.com. What's up? Oh, I'm just, uh, I'm just doing some laundry. What's, uh, what's, uh, what's going on with you? You want to sponsor this video? Huge shout out to Splice Sounds for sponsoring this video. Splice is a digital music platform that pretty much just completely evolved the way that people create. They have an insane amount of samples to choose from and have partnered with producers from all fields of music. People like Scott Storch, Sophie, Nikki Romero, and to shout out a few of my peers, we have one Virtual Riot, of course. Tynan has a sample pack I've used a bunch, Uzi, The Trap Lord. And the best part is it's completely affordable. You can choose a monthly plan that works for you and it starts as cheap as $7.99 a month. <laughs> There's even a mobile app that you can put on your phone and just browse all the samples from there, which you can then sync up with your desktop. So then when you're back you know, at home in the studio, you can just drag your samples directly from the Splice app back into your DAW. So if you're sitting in the car or you're at dinner you know, with your grandparents, you can just pull out the Splice app and start browsing samples, you know? <laughs> Cause like who needs casual conversation with loved ones when you can check out six snare drums? Splice has become essential for my own productions. I've used Splice in basically every song that I've made in for the past three years. If you're new to Splice and you wanna go check it out, which you absolutely should. You can use my code eliminate100 and get 100 free credits right now. Thanks again to Splice for sponsoring this video. Let's jump into it. So today's video is going to be about making a song using only Virtual Riot's heavy bass design sample pack on Splice. <laughs> Me and Val are like we're like really good friends. Um, he's like totally cool with me doing this video. Um, but I just wanted to run a, a few ideas by him about it. So I'm just going to give him a quick FaceTime call and uh, see what's up. Yo, dude, what's up? It's Nate. How'd you get my number? Uh, is, uh... <laughs> how, how did I block you on this? No, it's uh, that's cool. Um, he had a bad, there's a poor connection. I think it sounded like he was in an Uber or something, but it's fine. It's all like, I'm just. So, uh, first thing we need to do is just, um, gather some samples. There's 897 to choose from. So uh, I probably should have gone through before I even started filming this and picked out the ones I wanted. And, uh, I didn't do that. I think let's just go ahead and um, start off with a synth. So the challenge today necessarily isn't just, you know, throwing a bunch of samples together, but we're gonna try and manipulate them in a way that you wouldn't necessarily be able to tell that they came from this sample pack because they'll sound so much different. <laughs> um, we'll probably use a lot of the techniques that I've been using in recent videos. I'll show you how they can be applied to actual bass sounds as well, as opposed to like, um, something that might not be as readily available, such as like a toilet flushing or a burp sound. I love that one. I'm gonna grab that. Take that. I'll take that. Take that. I'll take that too. We've got, you know, a nice handful of crunchy bass sounds now. We're not necessarily gonna be using those in, let's say, like the intro of a song. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go here. Under here, we have all these different categories of synths that are included in the sample pack. And I'm just gonna click on pads, five to choose from. So I say we take these two, cause there's this one and then there's a riser. So we can just put them together. I'll take that. Now let's grab uh, some effects. So I'm just gonna hit reset and then go to effects. I like this little clap impact. See, this is this is cool. I'm probably gonna, I'll try and use this in the drop and it's not even from the uh, bass sounds. It's just a random cool effect. Let's get some drums. Kind of like this one. Let's just go ahead and grab a snare while we're here too. That one's really nice. All right, now let's open up our FL Studios. So first thing I'm gonna drag in is this little synth loop. I'm only gonna use a portion of this. And do some quick EQing here. Toss on a fruity convolver. And then just to make it different, let's pitch it down to semitones. What is this? What is this, actual music? <laughs> 
So now let's bring in uh, these little chords. And we'll follow suit by pitching down two semitones. Let's try doing the exact same effects just by giving its own channel and rooting it to this one and see how that sounds. Let's drag in our clap impact here. So we have these uh, these risers here that we can bring in. I'm gonna just pitch them down two semitones as well. Let's reverse our clap impact. That way it kind of swells into it. And then these things we can probably just low pass, you know? See how that sounds. And they're already rising, but let's make them rise even more um, with the added touch of the frequency shift. Fre the frequency shift. The fre- The frequ- <clears throat> The fre- That one works. It's kind of dry and short, so we can just sort of stretch it out and add like some reverb, you know? So now that we got like a basic start of a build, you know, and sort of an intro, um, let's jump back into the pack and see what kind of vocals we can scrounge up for a pre-drop. Here we go again. Shit. The bark is sick. I'm gonna take that. In the spirit of creating the most unique experience here, I've gone ahead and recorded my own vocal that we can use um, in collaboration with Virtual Riot's vocal. And I think it's pretty hype. Virtual Riot is my best friend. It kind of like gives energy that you'd want to hear in like a heavy dance dubstep music song. Virtual Riot is my best friend. And just in case that one wasn't like hype enough, I also have this one. Virtual Riot is my best friend. Let's try and um, kind of fuse that with this bork from the dog or whatever. Virtual Riot is my best friend. <laughs> um, maybe we can use like these four barks kind of right up leading up to it. Virtual Riot is my best friend. Virtual Riot is my best friend. Let's start dragging in these bass sounds and see what we can do to give them a little nice extra touch of pazoos and, pazum and, pa and pazumba. We have this guy. And it's an F, so to keep it consistent with the rest of the song, we'll drop it down to semitones and get this. Best friend. And let's start messing around here and see what we can do. First thing I'm gonna do naturally is uh, add an OTT. <laughs> it's just, you know, it's what I'm getting pissed with that. Next, let's try this format filter and see what we can come up here with here. See what Vocodex can do here as well. Riot is my best friend. So cool. For starters, we have managed to turn our first sound, which is this, into this. Not bad for Virtual Riot's best friend, you know. You guys see the shirt? Let's change this guy. We're just using portal here to adjust the pitch. <laughs> kind of like that, it's like a little siren. Toss the old verb on. Now let's bring in our snare drum. Now we get to create kind of the main theme and groove of this epic drop. Kind of leaning towards this one. I feel like we could play with the filter on this along with like a, kind of a lot of the other stuff that we've been doing. Virtual Riot is my best friend. Let's get the, let's get the crop, let's get the chop in the, let's get the chop in the rhythm. That's got triplet energy. Let's try it.
Hey, what's up guys? I just recorded for 10 minutes and uh, I didn't have OBS running. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do my best to show you the changes that I made. I didn't do any more processing, no more post-processing or anything like that. All I've been doing is just playing around with the arrangement. So it sounds a lot different now. I'll show you what I have here that I've done. Virtual Riot is my best friend. I just kind of cut them up in different ways and I left the processing exactly the same, which is just this little chain that we have right here. And if I turn it off, it sounds like this. And keep in mind, these samples are all pitched down either one or two semitones, just accordingly. And then I turn this, the effects back on and we got this. Basically what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna copy this and then drag in some new samples and put them on the exact same effects chain and see if we can get um, just cool new sounds just from that, just from using another sample, but with the exact same effects chain and processing and um, hopefully it'll turn out dope. I have this cool little like glitchy thing that he made. Very, very crunchy. Let's drag that in. All these samples are on channel 13. So I'm gonna just drag it on channel 13. There's not really any rhythm to this like glitchy growl. So I'm just gonna toss it in and see what happens and uh, get rid of these other samples that we have in here. And uh, let's just hope for the best. <laughs> That's so dope. I'm gonna take my hat off just so, you, just so you know. Things are getting serious in here now. So this sounds pretty sick. So basically we'll just copy this over and then kind of loop it. So now we have. And then now we just need another something to put here that's a little bit different. Let's see what else we could find. That could be dope. Let's try that. <laughs> that's so cool. That's just robotic. So essentially where we're at now is we're at a point where we've done, you know, like just kind of a, a minimal amount of processing and you can go through all 700 something, whatever samples there are here and drag them in and just put them on that one effects chain that we made, which, you know, you can make tons of changes to. You can add tons of stuff and you basically your possibilities are, are almost endless because you just take any one of these samples throw them on the uh the channel with the with the processing chain and you you get just crazy results every time and they sound different enough from the original sample um that that it's not just using the dry untouched sample you know i mean you have these crazy glitch sounds like let's try this one let's see what happens when we put this one in <laughs> that's so cool this one is insane. Let's try it. Let's just kind of isolate one part of the sample that we want to use. <laughs> That's so cool. It's like kind of a, a high-pitched ringy thing. Ringy ting. A ringy ting ting. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Like, I, I just took all of these these already dope sounds made by my, my best friend, Virtual Riot, and um, just kind of sprinkled, you know, a, like minimal post-processing. Just to reiterate here, we have this comb filter, and we have this filter that's giving us the movement, the low pass. Uh, we have a little bit of delay going on. We're not even automating the delay, really. And then OTT and Vocodex. I'll just highlight a section of the drop and turn off our effects. And this is what it sounds like. <laughs> And then we turn that into this. So yeah, with that said, I'll just go ahead and play the whole thing and we can experience this start to finish. This one goes out to um, <clears throat> my dear friend, Virtual Riot. All right, here we go. is my best friend. friend. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Big shout out to Splice again for sponsoring this video. I highly suggest you guys checking them out if you haven't. I've used Splice for years now. It's fantastic. Um, you can use my code eliminate100 and you'll get one free month of sounds. 
um, which is just a 100 credits per month plan and check it out. It's fantastic. So um, I hope that uh, you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on twist.tv slash eliminate HQ. Come hang out with us in the discord link below and that's it. See you guys. Virtual Riot is my best friend. Hey.